When we started six years ago, the startup scene was a scene, but it wasn't a thing. Now, the startup community is a very definite thing. I always ask the startups that I interview, why Philly? Philly is just so livable, it's cheap, it's not New York, and office space is cheaper too, so we have a lot of incubators and co-working spaces. When I was going to college, the cool kids were the ones who were either the athletes or who had a rock band. And today, the cool kids are the ones who have a company. I'm David Bookspan, co-founder of Dreamit, which was founded in Philadelphia and remains headquartered here. Dreamit Ventures is an accelerator where we take companies and we, in a very confined period of time, help them achieve their next commercial milestone. Estimates are delivered to your dashboard, and we apply our industry-first proprietary value algorithm. So it really has shifted tremendously um, in terms of what is valued, what is cool, and also what the entire community gets excited about. Dr. Evan Malone, I'm the founder and president of NextFab. NextFab is a makerspace, it's a, it's a new term, but it's basically like a fitness gym full of machine tools, computer workstations, high-end CAD software, and lots of people who like to make things, uh, including startup companies who are working on developing a product that's got some kind of physical nature to it. What we found when we started Dream It was just this pent-up energy, this enthusiasm that was just waiting to really be deployed in support of startups. Incubators in Philly, uh, like NextFab or other places like Indie Hall or VentureForth, they're really important to the ecosystem because they're a place for startups to go when they're not quite ready to have their own space. Startups are sharing the space to cut down on costs, and then it's also creating this community where, yeah, startups are all in one building and they can help each other out. Philadelphia is a place that doesn't have any arrogance to it. Uh, there's a kind of scrappy, can-do attitude here that makes almost anything possible. My wife and I met while I was doing my undergraduate work at UPenn in physics. We fell in love with Philadelphia as a place that had a lot of promise, but still was struggling a little bit. I felt like this is the right place to try to reignite the spark by giving people access to the latest high-tech tools and really trying to uh, you know, engage that uh, community that still had the passion and the family blood, family history associated with manufacturing. Because the Philadelphia tech scene is still young and is still growing, there's a lot of opportunity to make an impact in helping the community grow. You know, you're not just another company in Philly, you are seriously part of something. Over the next few years, I think that the startup community in Philadelphia is going to grow from emerging, which it is now, to established.